Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Essential Graphics Motion Graphic Templates. So in the Essential Graphics panel on the right hand side, if you open up the Browse section, you'll find a collection of all of these motion graphic templates. These are pretty simple to use, and you see I've got some on the timeline. All you have to do is click and drag them down onto your timeline, and you can put them on a track above your clips and you'll see it'll pop up as this graphic file. Now, when you click and highlight that file, if you open that up in the Essential Graphics panel, you can adjust all of the text about it. So in this case, they just have company presents in association with blah, blah, blah. But you can highlight that and change it to whatever you want. You just gotta make sure you're highlighting it and you can adjust individual text objects to your liking. Aside from being able to adjust all of the position and appearance of individual pieces of text, you can also adjust the keyframes about them. So in this case, this automatically comes in with this blur out and then blur in. You can tell that that's happening if you look at the actual graphic strip. You see this light pink section? That's when the transition out begins. And this light bit in the beginning, that's when it begins in the beginning. And all I have to do to change that is simply adjust the keyframes. So I can drop down that blurriness menu and I can make it go slower or faster by bringing the keyframes closer or further apart. And for each text layer, it, it brings it in and out by the opacity and scale, which I can make go in or out by pushing the keyframes closer or further apart. If you want to highlight multiple keyframes at once, you can drop down multiple items and push them in tandem like so. Aside from having text and title presets, you also have some cool transitions. So for example, this angled bar wipe transition, if I place this in between two clips and I really want to put it in between, not just at the beginning. So if I put it in between two clips, it'll act as a transition with this colored wipe, which is really cool. Um, it's a quick way to use to create transitions with graphic material rather than cutting clips. And again, even with these, you can adjust the color of these bars. So instead of red, I can make that yellow and I can get different colors on these different bars. So pretty customizable and the same way with the text, you can adjust the keyframes in the effects control panel. Some other cool ones they have are like following graphics, like so, or even just random things like shapes and animations. So you've got all kinds of templates built in here, whether it's callouts, titles, or transitions, and you can use them in this quick way to automatically create these type of things without having to create text and shapes from scratch. And not only do you have all the ones that are built in here, you can create your own in After Effects or find ones that other people have created and load them into your motion graphic template library in Premiere. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube to stay tuned for more videos. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.